Hello guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to make the best jump scare for your FNAF uh, fan games or other horror games and squats. So my way of making jump scares is actually much better than uh, others ways of making jump scares. Uh, what mine uses is it uses the size and the uh, direction you know, here to make like a, a shaking effect to the player's screen when they get jump scared. What others do is that they just start quoting little animation for the character, but it's actually a very uh, cheesy and crappy way of making a jump scare. And mine doesn't even require an animation to uh, make a good jump scare. So first off, we need to obviously uh, create a spot for our uh, jump scare. But in your FNAF fan games, you don't even need a separate sprite for your jump scare and uh, animatronics AI. You can actually just have them in a, both in the same sprite because your uh, character's AI is not going to need a, a separate sprite if it's going to have a, a jump scare. Okay, so first off. Uh, we need a cut. We need our character. So I'm just gonna use uh, something that I made myself. I'm just gonna make the arms flip vertically, and then move it upwards. And then I'm just gonna fit my uh, character to the screen. Actually, that's a bit uh, too big. I said it's done. And then what you're actually going to need uh, if you want your character to reach a size that squats won't allow you to get for your character, you're going to need something that's called a sizer. Basically, what it does is that uh, so you switch your character's costume to the sizer, and then you set the size to the size you want. And then you switch it back to the your character's main costume. So it's a very clever way of uh, jailbreaking through Squats's size limitation. Because if I were to do something like 500, it would only go up to 133. So with what with the sizer, I could set it to a size much bigger than that. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to use the one green flag clipped. And then you're going to need to initialize your character's jump scare. Uh, <coughs> so then you'll need a uh, sound for your character's jump scare, obviously. Otherwise, it's going to be quiet and it's not going to be scary. I'm just going to use this Wicked Scream audio sample that I got. Okay, so. so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to use multiple scripts for the one green flag clipped event. So obviously we're going to show, make a good front layer, hide after playing the audio sample. Oh, and then you're going to need to stop other script spots uh, block. Okay, so let's just test that. Perfect. So now for the direction, uh, we are going to... So I'm actually just going to uh, get a initialized block first. I use a initialized block for all of my Squats projects because you only just uh, in initialize your character on one message or event and you don't have to like, create multiple scripts to make it initialized. This is what others don't do. Uh, <coughs> But as this is not a project, I can just put it on this script here. Uh, 
Oh, so first you're going to set the drug mode to not druggable and then set the rotation style to all around uh, and then oh yeah I especially forgot to set the volume how wicked and despicable of me you know, so now we're done with that now uh, for our jump scare we are going to want to like move the character around so like uh, we want to move it like that so how we're going to do this is that we're going to use a loop so uh, first off we're going to point in direction 90 alright how do I hide yeah that's it and then uh, <coughs> let's see if uh, using the turn degrees block in a loop will help ok so first off we're going to use repeat in tool so we're going to move it like that first and then we're going to move it like that and then I'm just going to repeat <coughs> so we're going to use something like uh, we're going to, this is the limit of how much we're going to want it to move to so we're going to do 135 so if it's more than that it, w it won't run so Oh, we have I suppose we've got to put it in a forever block. And the forever loop will be stopped when this stop of a switch and spot block is called. So we don't have to worry about it uh running forever because it's gonna be stopped obviously. <coughs> okay, so we just put the bits in there. Okay, so we're gonna uh like that. And then for this one, yeah, this is basically the same thing but the other direction. Yeah, I think uh, 41 is the right. So for that one, we're going to use if direction is less than 41. So let's see how that works. Oh, oops, that's a bit too slow. So we're going to. I'll see if 10 degrees is fast enough yeah I see we could make it much faster than that yeah that's much better and then now uh, for the size uh, we're going to create a potential size variable so I'm just going to re rename this as it's already been created so we've got that quoted, now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to get a set uh, block for your variable and then you're going to put a R&D generator in your block. So we're going to, uh, you can pick any range of size that you want for your uh, character's size in the jump scare. And then what you're going to, uh, we're going to uh, leave this bit so uh, we're going to check for how big that it can go so it can only go up to a uh, size of one, 133 so we're going to do if potential size is larger than 133 then we're going to use the sizer and this is where the sizer comes handy then we're going to set the size to our potential size and then switch the costume back to the your character's main costume and then put our else, uh, else block yeah. and then we don't need the size so we can just put uh, set size to your potential size and then we're going to see or uh, what size is best for the biggest jump scare oh, uh, well, what am I doing oh, uh, that's a bit too big, so we're going to reduce it down to 160 or uh, maybe 145 yeah, that's better, so we're just going to put it there and now let's want it Yep, and that's how you get your best jump scare. So if you enjoyed my tutorial, uh, please like the video and subscribe 
for more helpful, productive and useful squats tutorials uh, soon to come on my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great day.